Hello everyone, welcome to this video. This is a series for those people who just started development in X++. My name is Ali Reza Zedi. I am Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation Consultant. Currently working for one of the pioneer ERP implementer in Gulf region business expert Gulf. You can explore my blog at https tech.alirazazadi.com I use document findings during day to day work so explore my blog for tips and tricks for Dynamics 365 for finance innovation here so model is not more than just a placeholder for all your code tables queries AOT objects it's a just a logical grouping we will discuss this in some other video just consider it not more than a container for all your objects your own logical grouping or your own codes and objects that use in your application or your customization second thing is how to test code or simple logic to write if you have a background of a C++ or a C sharp you definitely run the console application which just used to print some text or just used to check some logic Right, Dynamics 365 for finance and operation, Microsoft provide runnable classes. My development environment where I am going to create first a model and then create a runnable class. Click on Dynamics 365, then model management and create a model. Our new model name is, is Ice Breaker and model publisher is Ali Reza Zedi and I want to create one model he will use for all my videos now I want to create I select a create a new package and click next now I need to add some other model other packages ref application common application foundation application suit and click on next so it will going to create my new project and make this make this my default model for a new project so, okay I click on a finish for X or D365 fine and uh, click on okay so our solution will be created and my project will be on a icebreaker now i am going to create a runnable class that will use for testing some your logic or logic that, that will be going to embed somewhere uh, so for this i have to right click first of all i go to uh, options and from here dynamics 65 uh best practices build debugging okay project uh, yes i have want to check uh, this option so all objects will come in proper nodes i click on that organize project by element type and then second option which will be helpful for me is text uh, text editor and here I want to go x plus plus and this line number so this option will help me that if there is an error then I can easily try a trace on which line the error occurred so click on ok and now I go to add a uh, new item click on code and click on runnable class and change its name to k and click on add so new hello world class is added and here we can write simple uh, print so i'm going to use info and info is used to print some messages and I write in the name of in the name of Lord. I just started this 
on series and click on ok so one way is to run a bad job uh, and set is a property property or project as a startup object and mention your past name is there and after that go run without debug so you have to run uh, control f5 it will build and run the project or press f5 or a start in the second you can see yes you can see the job is run and it's uh, output is written here second way is an update that uh, statement use that statement update your class name here and copy this and paste after the uh, URL of your environment I'm working on a local uh, dev box uh, hosting my machines so I use that so after you when we enter or refresh our browser uh, for X++ development for Dynamics 365 for financing operations see you in next video thank you for watching